Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So today we're going to be covering the Yandex Chrome extension. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is the first initial look of what Yandex actually looks like. So just a background on Yandex. Yandex is a Russian multinational internet company and it is the biggest technology company in Russia and offers many different types of products and services. They're also known to, of course, what we're using now, which is, uh, this is the biggest search engine in Russia, uh, which is Yandex. And this is also used throughout the other areas as well, like Kazakhstan, um, Belarus as well, Uzbekistan as well, and Turkey. So they also use this, but it's mainly the, uh, it's mainly Russia that would, uh, use Yandex. So of course we're familiar more to using Google Chrome um, and any of the or Bing as well and Microsoft Edge. But what we want to see is mainly if we could still use the different Chrome extensions that we use uh, on the Yandex browser. So uh, what I would like to actually demonstrate first is the different uh, sort of extensions that you can get. So if you do search up for from the Chrome extension, uh, of course everything is in Russian. So if we do Chrome extension and we can still access the Chrome web store. Now say that we wanted to add a couple of parts um, like a screen, uh, uh, maybe like a full screen uh, full page screen screenshotter or a screen capture so we could do a full screen uh, full page screen capture as you can see there's tools to use it for that so if I go select go full page so here's one of the Chrome extensions that I want to use for Yandex so I'll go ahead and add that to the Chrome and add that extension so the extensions that you would use on a Chrome browser would also work well for uh, Yandex. So it wouldn't affect it one bit. So if I go back to the Chrome extension and I actually go ahead and pin this, as you can see, if I select the capture entire page, it's gonna go ahead and automatically scroll down for me and then take a picture of the entire page. So. It's at 58% at the minute, so we'll just wait for that. So if you guys can see, it's actually went ahead and captured the web page. Uh, I've actually had to redo it there for the imagery. So this is the web page here at yandex.com and it's uh, showing up for the images that I've searched it up. So it works perfectly fine. Uh, no issues with using the go full page uh, screen extension on the Chrome browser. So we'll go ahead and use um, another uh, Chrome extension for Yandex. So I've went ahead and actually downloaded the ad blocker for this one. So at the minute it's actually saying that it's blocking zero uh, on this page. Now I could flick through it as normal and it pretty much as you can see it's actually blocking now one ad in this page so that works perfectly fine to use the ad blocker so if you're browsing through the net using yandex and of course you want to remove some advertisement then i would 100 percent ha um, recommend having the ad block as your extension so another extension that i've actually added on is the custom cursor for chrome um, i'm actually able to still use yandex while having this extension. So that's another cool thing to have. So pretty much overall, if you do decide that you wanna use the Yandex browser, uh, any sort of extension will work uh, regardless. So you can have your text-to-speech if you wanted to, you can have Google Translate, uh, we rank SEO as well, depending if you want uh, to rank within Yandex. Um, of course, there's other ones there like SEO Minion, as well and set the other one that we also demonstrated which is the full page website 
And of course there are other ones that you could add into it. So if you wanted to go for something a little bit more fun, then we have uh, some other parts there. That's the the cursor. So the you can use the cute cursor if you want to, or the one that I'm using now, which is the custom cursor for Chrome. And of course it doesn't just work for, for Chrome, it also works for Yandex. So it's pretty much just whatever you would search up in a Chrome um, environment. Just, But yes, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, so as you can see, there are multiple different uh, extensions or Chrome extensions that you can't use for Yandex. Yes, it's um, easy enough to use. Uh, pretty much just works the same way if you are using Google or if you're using any other sort of browsers, it would still work for Yandex itself. So if you guys have any questions at all regarding the video, please do let us know in the com comment section below. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much.